Robert Basson, and today what we're going to do is we're going to go over the Gen 3 Revo SX. Uh, you know, I got my hands on this reel a few months ago, um, and man, it is just amazing, guys. This reel performs flawlessly. Um, it's very easy to tune, you know, it's, it's user friendly, and I mean, there's a lot of, lot of stuff that I love about this reel, and let's just kind of jump right into it. Um, the first thing you're going to notice about this reel, when you're looking at it on Tackle Warehouse, Bass Pro, whatever, is this reel is sexy. You know, it's got that flat black MGX look. Um, it's got the red, you know, it's just a sexy, sexy reel, guys. This thing is awesome looking. And that was one of the things that really turned me on to it, because I have a lot of Revo SS's, S's, my bad, and they're just, you know, the flat white, and they look cool, you know, and I like them a lot. Um, but I wanted something that was in my boat and somebody would be like, dang, that guy's got a sweet looking reel. And we've gotten a lot of compliments on this too. You know, people that don't ever like use Abus or never seen them, it seems sweet looking and you do get compliments on it. The second thing is everything is user friendly. The drag, it clicks. If you can hear that, Let's see if I can. Clicks, click. You, the casting knob, clicks. The spool or the magnetic brake, clicks everything's easy so you can really fine tune this thing on how you want it tuned and you know I'm probably gonna have to retune this thing because I just messed it up but you can really fine tune this thing easy you know it isn't gonna be something you're gonna have to sit here and cast after cast after cast you know tune and you know, it's very very easy another thing I like about this is it does come in two gear ratios you can get your 6 4 to 1 for your all around top waters. Uh, you, just, you know, if you're only looking for one reel that you can use for really everything, 6 4 to 1 is where it's at. And then you have your 7 to 1, which is what this is. So you can see it right there. 7 to 1. Anyway, it's right there. Um, you know, you got your 7 to 1, high, ski, high gear, so stuff, burning like crankbaits is what a lot of times I can use this for if I really wanted to. But mainly I use this for like flipping and pitching and stuff. So Cinco's, Texas Rig Worms, Crawls, whatever, tubes, uh, jigs, a lot, of, a lot of that kind of stuff. This is also a really good reel in the mats, um, but I haven't been using it for mats lately. That's why it's fluorocarbon on. Um, you know, um, this reel is very, very uh, well priced too. You know, you're going to buy this reel for about $160 retail. Um, you know, uh, it's uh, very, very good for $160. You know, this thing performs like a $300 reel, and I mean that. It's very, very light. I think this way is like six, seven, six point seven ounces, and it's you know that's that's pretty light for a reel. You know, um, reels are ridiculously light nowadays, but um, you know this being six point seven ounces, you ain't gonna really notice it um, after a while. Don't get me wrong, you know the the four point nine ounce Revo MG Extreme five hundred dollar reel, that's sweet, but you know if you can't afford that like me, then <laughs> this is an awesome reel to go with. Um, uh, just other specs about it. It has 10 bearings, so it's very, very smooth. Um, when I first got this reel, the first thing I did was actually clean it. I'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute. Um, and it was already smooth enough out of the pack, but I, I did clean it, make sure everything was right. And that was about six or seven months ago, and this thing is still just buttery, buttery smooth. I mean, it is just phenomenal smooth. And um, yeah, so, and back to cleaning it. There is two ways I like to clean my reel. The first thing I do is the little Abu oil that they give you in the pack or the box. I start with the guy cutting grass in my uh, background here. Um, but uh, the, the first thing you get in that pack is the little oil. And the first thing I do is I always, always oil, oil that worm gear. And that's where, it's, where you're really going to get all that dirt and gack and just that nasty stuff. So I always clean that to kind of prevent that. The second thing you can do is you have this little screw right here. All you do is you loosen it, like that, pull it out, and this is kind of going to be hard, but pull it out, there you go, pull it out, and you can oil that bearing, and then you can pull your spool out, like this, and you can oil down in there, and oil that bearing. So it'll be very, very smooth then. Now, if you're a kind of guy that is just getting into the fishing business, you know, you just bought a $160 reel and you're like, man, I really like this thing, but I don't want to do that. Um, I'm, where, I'm with you, man. I've been there. Um, the, the, the cool thing about Abu is, is they have these little doors right here. And what you can do is you can unscrew that and pour some uh, oil, whatever you're cleaning this thing with. You know, the Ardent Reel Butter is really good. I really like the Abu oil. Um, and some people even use that rim oil stuff, but I'm not too big a fan on that. Um, 
don't use that. <laughs> but uh, you can pour that in there, reel your reel up like that, and you'll be really good. It, it'll work fine. Um, but um, if you can't open it up, then do that. Um, you know, the grips on this thing, everything's real comfortable. They do feature that bent, like, handle design, so it does get your hand really, really close to the reel so you can fight fish, and it's got a lot of power for having a smaller handle. Um, you know, and I mean, there ain't really much else to say on this reel. You know, if you guys are looking at it and you're kind of debating on getting this or something else, then I would really go with this because, you know, this thing isn't the fanciest reel. It ain't got all the super awesome technology, but it is so awesome guys I love the Abbey reels um, you know they're they're very well priced they're honest and they will there isn't a reel out there that will last longer than an Abbey reel. so guys I hope you enjoyed the video I got a storm blowing on me so it kinda stinks just kinda hoping to go fishing but oh well um, but yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video this is Devin here with the High River Bass and Conrad subscribe we're gonna have more content coming out for you signing out